We kick off this half hour with the latest protests in Egypt. As you may know, this morning, three American college students remain in custody there this morning, accused of throwing firebombs at security forces. A correspondent Elizabeth Palmer is in Cairo with the latest for us this morning. Liz, good morning. Good morning. Yes, as you say, they're still in custody, being held in the prosecutor's office. The American University tells us this morning that they were interviewed yesterday by the general public prosecutor, and today there's another interview scheduled, this time with the prosecutor responsible for state security. Egyptian state TV announced the student's arrest and showed them looking pale and scared. Luke Gates in the middle with what appears to be a surgical mask against tear gas, Gregory Porter on the left and Derek Sweeney on the right. All three were studying Arabic at the American University in Cairo, whose main campus is right in the center of the action on the edge of Tahrir Square. The buildings overlook the street where the most intense fighting has been going on. A spokesman for the Interior Ministry here in Cairo told us that they'd been picked up after they were spotted on the roof throwing Molotov cocktails down onto the police below. Derek Sweeney is a 19-year-old student at Georgetown University. His mother, Joy, said he'd always been opposed to violence. He is extremely passionate about democracy and um, freedom, and um, he's very convicted, and he believes in standing up for what's right. On Twitter, 21-year-old Luke Gates, a junior at Indiana University, appeared to hint that he had joined the protests. He was feeling reckless, he tweeted on Saturday, and later, we were throwing rocks, and one guy accidentally threw his phone. The Americans are now being held at the prosecutor's office in Cairo, but a crowd of students and activists is once again this morning battling police and soldiers near Tahrir Square. Overnight, there were hundreds of injuries, many from tear gas, and we saw one dead body being loaded into an ambulance at a makeshift field hospital. This crowd is clearly dissatisfied with the Army's promise yesterday that military rule in Egypt will end by June. The big question, of course, is whether the elections are going to go ahead as planned. They were supposed to go next Monday in a few days' time, but everybody is waiting to see what the rest of the week will bring and whether there's too much instability for that to happen. Erica? Elizabeth Palmer in Cairo this morning. Thanks.